And these are the techniques for the Brown Belt Service, first queue. So what is included are all 14 techniques to both sides that were part of the third and second queue, as well as the next seven techniques. The first of which is Nanami Zuki. So what happens, I stand opposite my partner, he takes a step back into a stance, he's got the knife in his hand, and as he takes a step forward and thrusts down to stab me, I take a step off the line, bring my hand up in front, and trap the wrist. I strike him in the face, Put both hands on the wrist so that both my thumbs are against the back of it. And then rotate around, turning the wrist over and throw them. My hand then goes round the back onto the forearm, pulling them round and in. My elbow against the back of his arm and apply Udi Garani, strip the knife away and remain in a controlled position. Okay, this time we'll do exactly the same technique, the Nami but we'll do it a little bit quicker than the, than the first demonstration. So my father takes a step back, as he goes to start, I step off to the side. Wall, strike. Come with a motivation. Come around this side, put my hand on the forearm, my elbow on the back of the hand, apply the Udigarami, strip the knife out from his hands, and remain in a controlled position. Okay, this time we'll do exactly the same technique, but we'll do it from the opposite side. So my partner takes a step back in my stance. Now this time what we'll do, as opposed to the first technique, where I stepped off to the side and used Osotu Ryuki in order to, to, to deflect the knife. This time what we'll do is Uchiki, so from this side. Yeah, in order to give you different options, you don't always have to do the, 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 the technique that's shown. There's different ways into and out of every sort of lock and every sort of throw that you're going to be, be doing. So, what happens, my partner steps forward to stab me, we we'll step to the side, again, stepping off the line and forwards, and parry it with this hand, take it with the other hand, and strike him in the back of the nose, in the bridge of the nose. Hands go on, again, go to gauge, and exactly the same finish, and then, round here, keep my hand tight on his forearm, my forearm on the back of his tricep, trapping him in, apply Udigarami. Strip the knife away and remain in a controlled position. Okay, technique number two, Furiagi. So my partner has his stick, so what's going to happen this time is we stand opposite each other, he takes a step back and raises his stick as if to hit me. I shuffle in, catching him before he has a chance to strike me in the side of the head. Yeah? Now what I'm doing is with the side of my hand here, I'm striking up into the bicep. Yeah. Yeah, so, as you hit the bicep, what it does is it deadens the arm, it weakens it, uh, and, uh, and it's the beginning of my, my process of being able to throw him because I'm taking away all his posture. So, I've hit, strike, hand's going to come up and tip him back, so now his balance is broken. I step through, so began it. As he hits the ground, my arm continues around, clasp my hands together, kneel on the side of his head, and apply Udigarami. Okay, so what we'll do this time is exactly the same technique, Furiagi, but we'll do it to the left hand side. So again, my partner raises his hand as if to strike, I shuffle in, striking that bicep, and striking him. My hand then comes up, tilts his chin backwards, hand comes round, clamps together, I apply Udigarami. Okay, technique number three is Furioroshi. So what's going to happen this time, my partner takes his hand on both, both, um, both hands onto the stick, sorry, as he steps forward to strike, again I step off the side of the line, block down, taking a hold of the stick, I hit him in the bridge of the nose to the back of my hand, and then as I step through, I'm going to step my thigh right behind him. So from here, I'm going to use my palm up on this, sweep him by the way, and end up in that position. Okay, we'll do the same technique again, again from the same side, Furio Roshi. So what's going to happen, my partner takes a step back, a step, high, take, strike, and into a control position.
Okay, Furio Roshi from the left hand side this time. So again, my partner takes a step back, I step to the side, parry, grab, smash the nose with the back of my fist. Step forward, and end up in a good position again. Okay, the next technique is Morotuzuki. So what's going to happen, my partner takes a stick in both hands. As he does, he takes a step back. Now it's important to know that his hands are in this position, as opposed to this position. So, because his hands are there, it's going to allow us to be able to perform this technique relatively simply. So as he takes a step forward, I parry to the side, take a hold of the stick, my hand then comes into the centre of the stick. Now using his hand as a pivot point, I'm going to lift the stick up and rotate it forwards, yeah, applying the lock in order to break his balance to the front. And as I step forward, I'm going to project him with a throw. So again, step back, he comes forward, here, 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 lift, and stay in control of the stick. Okay, this time we'll do the same technique again, but not as you keep it to the left hand side. Okay? So here, panic, take, take, here, and control the stick. Okay, this time we're on to the gun defences now, there's three of them. So the first of them is Shomen Zuki. So we'll do that to the right hand side first. So what happens is I'm, I'm relatively close to my partner, close enough for him to hold the gun against my abdomen. And when I raise my hands up, uh, as he says to me, raise your hands up, I raise my hands up, he puts his hands forward as if to search me. Now as he does, just to the side, uh, it's a quick movement with the hips. So rather than take a step and turn, which would take too much time, uh, it's just a quick movement to the side in order to point the barrel in the opposite direction. And at the same time, rather than keep your hands up here, your hands are down low at the side. So it's the twisting movement with the hip uh, that allows the hand to push off, as opposed to actually physically pushing with your hand. So, yeah, so the whole movement rests on your hip movement. So from here, turn to the side, I, I, I grab a hold of his, his trigger finger whilst at the same time maintaining control over the top of the slide. My hand then comes underneath and clamps onto his hand as well. So if, just put your finger in the trigger. So if his finger was, was in the trigger, uh, I've got control over his trigger finger now. So just take it out again. So from here, I'm going to rotate this, this hand back up and towards him. Nice and quick, so the gun now points towards him. Take a step around. Keeping the gun in his hand. And I never let the gun release from his hand because he's got control over the trigger finger and I've got control. Sorry, he's got control over the trigger and I've got control over his trigger finger. Kneel it to the side of him yeah, and keep the gun pointing towards him. Okay, once again, show me you keep but from the other side. So once again, my partner holds the gun tightly against my abdomen. I raise my hands up as he steps forward in order to check me. Yeah, just at the appropriate time, while he's, uh, he's engaged, putting his hands in my pocket or, or checking me to see if I've got any money, this is a good time to, to engage your partner with a question. If you engage somebody with a question, their brain automatically has to respond to that question whether they want to do so or not. Now, doing this gives you a split second in order to be able to, to make your movement. If you don't ask him a question and he's fully concentrated on shooting you, then you're going to be shot. Now, this is an absolute last ditch. Yeah, there's, there's no way that you would do this if you were in a position to be able to give him all your goods and get away safely. This is only if you feel your life's in mortal danger would you ever do this. So we're in this position. I would say to my partner, what's your name? Immediately, I turn to the side, controlling the way in, hand up to the bottom, rotate up, throw them with it, take control of their trigger finger, Come up on top of them, yeah, and here, and keep the gun pointed towards them. Gun away. Okay, this time, the next technique is uh, number six, Koshigamai. So what happens is my partner holds the pistol, and he holds it up here, so it's not quite touching my body. Now he tells me to raise my hands, which I do, but obviously, again, I only raise them high enough to, to the side to be able to make use of them. If you lift your hands up here and then drop them back down again in order to do that high sort of technique, you'll already be shot. 
So you have to keep your hands tight at the side of you here. So you're raising your hands up, so you're doing exactly what you're told to do, but at the same time, you're maintaining some sort of control over the situation. So again, as my partner steps forward or holds his hands forward in order to check me, I ask him a simple question. Why are you attacking me? Yeah? What's your name? What did you have for breakfast? Any question does, as long as it engages his brain. Well, so at the same time, I'm going to rotate my hips to the side of the head and push the, the weapon away. And as I do, I'm taking a hold of it, and his finger, just finger, trigger finger, as his finger's on the trigger, as you, take it, as you push it out to the side here, you take a hold of it from underneath of the weapon, and you clamp his trigger finger into the trigger. Now rotate the, the weapon out and towards him, and doing so, you dislocate his finger. And when it's in this position, you can then take it off, strip the weapon back, and you're in a controlled position. Okay, technique number six, Koshi Gamai, again, from the opposite side. So again, what happens, my partner pulls the weapon up as if he's pointing it towards my stomach. As he puts his hands forward in order to check to, see, to, to rob me, yeah, and then engage his brain with any sort of question. As, I, as, as soon as I've engaged his brain, I rotate my hips to the side with my hands up, rotate the hips to the side, taking a hold of the top of the weapon by the slide, wrap my finger around his trigger finger, and my other hand comes underneath onto the pistol grip. Again, I rotate the weapon round so it's pointing it towards him, in order to apply the lock on the finger, either dislocating or hopefully breaking the finger. As I do, my hand comes around the weapon, slide back out from again, and end up in a control position. Okay, technique number seven is high menzuki. So this is the last of the three gun defences. So what happens is my partner's approached me from the rear, he puts the weapon into my back. Yeah? So all I want to do is he asks me to take my hands up as I take a look for a look behind me in order to see what hand he's holding the weapon in. Again, what I'll do is engage his brain with any sort of question, you know, what do you want? Why are you pointing a gun at me? You know, any sort of question at all in order to engage his brain. As soon as I do, I drop this hand down and turn. So I'm turning it towards him, which hopefully allows the weapon to pass by, or the barrel of the weapon to pass by. So if it does fire off around, it will hopefully it goes past me. Yeah. I bring my hand up to the inside and cut down immediately in his arm. Take a hold of the weapon or the hand and control the weapon with the hand. I rotate this round, throw. So I've got the weapon held at his throat again. From here, come under, again because his finger's in the, in the trigger, take a hold of the weapon from here so I'm holding the slide, rotate it back up, pull the weapon away, and again end up in a controlling position. Okay, once again, number seven, high men's UK, but this time obviously to the left hand side as well. So again, I'm being approached from the rear, I feel the weapon in my back, I raise my hands up as I'm told, and I take a look around in order to see what hand that is being held against my back. I rotate around in this direction, hand drops up onto the back of the arm, and cut down, take a hold of his hand, yeah, control the gun, point in towards him, throw. Again, I point the weapon down towards his head, take a hold of the back of the gun by the slide, Rotate it out against his finger and finish in a controlled position.